Good morning, Year 4. For today's maths task, you're going to be looking at pages 36 and 37. And these are really lovely pages because this is putting together everything you have learned about addition and subtraction in the past week. And we're now going to be looking at word problems. So the same as usual, please start on set A and then head over to set B. If you in the hour, if you don't get all of those questions finished, that's absolutely fine. Just do what you can in the hour. Remember, you've got time to watch the video. If you need to go through any questions from yesterday and mark, that's all part of your hour. So I'm just going to run through a few questions today, which I think might help you with the task today. So we're going to look at set A first. And I'm actually going to look at three questions. I'm going to look at question three and four, because although there's two questions here, they're answering one problem. So it says, a shop sold 327 red apples and 454 green apples. So this is a two-step word problem because question three would be step one, and then this bit is the second part to that question. So first of all, I need to find out how many more green apples than red apples did they sell? So what we usually do in class is I'm just gonna draw something out to help me solve that problem. So I know I've got 327 red apples, so I'm going to write that in red. And I've got 454 green apples. They're the numbers that I need. So first of all, I need to know how many more green apples there were than red apples. I can see that there's more green apples because that's a bigger number, but I need to know exactly how many more. So to do this, we're going to use our subtraction because we're finding the difference, and I think for this one, it would be the easiest way to work that out. So let's start off with using our column method that we've been practicing this week. So we're going to do 454 subtract 327. I've lined it all up correctly. I've got my hundreds here, my tens and my ones. And then that way, that should mean I'm able to answer the question really carefully. Okay, so I'm subtracting. So to start off with, I'm going to start with my ones, and I'm going to subtract four from seven. Now, I know if I was going to do this, I would end up going into minus numbers. So we're going to do what we've been doing this week, and we're going to rename. We're going to go over to the tens column, and we're going to rename that 50. It's going to become 40, and then we can take that 10. So this now becomes 14, subtract seven, which would give us seven. Now I go over to my tens column, I've got 40 subtract 20, or I could think of that as 4 subtract 2, I know that's 2, and then 4 subtract 3, which is 1. So question 3 asks us how many more green apples are there than red apples, where there are 127 more green apples than red apples. Okay, so for the second part of this question we're now looking at how many apples they sold in total so if we're looking at how many there are in total we're going to be adding these two numbers together because we know the total means how many there are all together so using the same numbers that we had originally we're now going to use our column addition method so we're going to do 454 add 320 Seven. Again, starting off with the ones column, 4 add 7 would give us 11. Remember, we need to take that 1 over to the tens column because we've got 1 tens now. 5 add 2 would give us 7. Add the 1 would be 8, so 50 add 20 add 10 is 80. And then 4 add 3 would give us 7. So that would be the second part of that answer, and how many apples they had in total would be 781. Okay, so I'm going to show you one of the questions on set B now for us to have a look at, and we're going to look at this one here. There's quite a few questions linked with this one, and we've got to read the table to help us answer these questions, and we're going to have a look at answering question A and question 10, so hopefully that will help you when you're answering the other ones. So... This is a jewellery shop display, and these are the prices below. So we've got the price of a necklace, a bracelet, a ring, and earrings. And the first question we're going to look at is how much more does some earrings cost than a bracelet? Okay, so actually the bracelet is more expensive than the earrings. So we're going to look at the difference in that price. So again, I'm just going to write something out to help me. So I know that the bracelet costs... 
£1,395. And I know that the earrings, we'll do those in green, cost £265. So I want to know how much more expensive is this necklace than the earrings? So exactly what we've done before. We could count on to find the difference, but I'm going to use my column subtraction method again to help me solve this. So I'm going to set it out exactly the same as last time with my thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. So I've got 1,395 take away. 265 so there's nothing in my thousands column 265 if you like you can always put your place value holder in there same as last time we're going to start with our ones column five take away five would lead us with zero nine take away six would give us three Three take away two would give us one. One take away zero would give us one. So we didn't have to do any renaming there. We could easily subtract all of those. So the answer to question A is that the bracelet costs £1,130 more than the earrings. Okay, so question 10 then says Jan bought a necklace and Adam bought a bracelet and some earrings. How much more did Adam spend than Jan? Okay, so this is quite a few steps we need to do for this problem. So let's use the same method we did last time with writing it out really carefully. So I know that Jan, this is going to be Jan, and then Adam's going to be in the green. Jan bought a necklace, and the necklace costs £2,312. But Adam, he bought two things. He bought a bracelet, which was £1,395. And he's also bought some earrings, which were £265. Now, I've already set that up in my place value column because I know, first of all, I need to work out how much Adam has spent altogether before I try and work out the difference because that's going to be really tricky to work out the difference between Adam and Jan without actually finding out how much Adam spent in total. So I'm going to use this space here and really carefully add these together. So first of all, I need to do my five add five, which would give me 10. So I need to put my one down here because it's moving into the tens column. Now I know I can add that one there, so that becomes 10 add six, which would give me 16, or 90 add 60 add 10. And then three add two would give me five. And then last but not least, I need to add Oh, and then I'm sorry, I've got to add my extra one on. Don't forget that step there. So that three or two would give me five, but then I have an extra hundred here, don't I? So that would give me six. And then my thousands left over. That's why it's really important to cross them off so that we remember to rename and add along. Okay, so I now know then that Adam altogether has spent £1,660. So already I can see that Jan has spent more money than Adam, even though Adam bought two things. So the question has asked me how much more did Jan spend than Adam? So again, very similar to what we've been doing today. We're going to then compare, find the difference. We're going to use subtraction. So we're going to put the largest number first, which would be Jan's amount, 2,312, subtract 1,660. Okay, now we can start from our ones column. Two subtract zero would leave us with two. Okay, one subtract six. I've got the smaller tens on top, so I need to head over to my hundreds. I'm going to rename. My 300 is going to become a 200. I've taken 100 off, so I can pop 100 back on here. So now I've got 110 subtract 60, or I can think of that as 11 subtract six, which would give me five. Moving over to my hundreds, I've got 200 subtract 600. Again, that's going to be quite tricky because I'm going to go into minus numbers if I was to do that. So if I go over to the thousands column, rename my thousands, I've got 1,000. Pop my thousand up here, 12 take away 6 or would give me 6. And then I've just got my 1 subtract 1, which would leave me with nothing. So, how much more did Jan spend than Adam? She spent an extra £652. 
If you need any support with the maths work today, please email or message us on Teams so that we can support you with this. Just get through as much as you can today and think really carefully about what the word problem is asking you to do. You can always grab another bit of paper or in your lined book, draw some pictures that would help you work it out. Remember to look back in your book as well and see the methods that you've used so far so that they can help you. If you need any support, please email us.